혀가 혀가 똑바로 펴. The most basic part of sonmudo is the sense of balance. That's why the students of Golgulsa train at the 108 steps, which are notoriously steep. It is the most difficult part of the training. The 108 steps symbolize the road to enlightenment, and such is the difficulty of gaining enlightenment. Wow, isn't it difficult? Uh, yes, it's difficult. It's very difficult sometimes, but it's part of the Samudal spirit that we persevere and overcome. Okay, then what do you think of these hard trainings in Sanmudo? Uh, I believe they're based to challenge the mind and body, and it's a good challenge. It's healthy and it's one that I love. There are many people who come to Kolguta to learn about Sanmudo, and there are some who leave just after one day because the training is so hard. Perhaps the road to enlightenment is a very difficult one. In our last program, we warmed up by doing Yuyeonggong. But this time, let's try Ocheyukbap. <laughs> Ocheyukbap is a type of Zen workout that harmonizes the mind and the body, whether the stationary or in motion, the breathing rhythm balances you. Breathing is done by deep inhalation and exhalation through the nose. Control the amount according to the physical level of your body. When you do Ocheyukbap, the head, arm and legs are soothed, the spine is straightened, and the autonomic nerves, which control the internal organs, recover. First, straighten out the foot and pull it in while inhaling and exhaling. Now the opposite. Pull back fully and inhale and exhale and relax. Pull the foot, inhale and exhale and relax the foot. Pull the foot, inhale and exhale, and relax the foot. Inhale and exhale. At ease. If we follow the actual training of Ocheyukbap, it will take a very long time. So we only showed a shortened version of it, but I'm sure you all got the basic idea. Today we will be learning among Yeongdong Ipgwan of Seonmudo, the position of the tiger, the bear, and the crane. Yeongdong Ipgwan. Kigong training of Seonmudo, imitative movements of seven animals, which are the tiger, dragon, Monkey, deer, bear, turtle, and the crane. The tiger form represents the tiger roaring at its prey. It has the effect of strengthening the kidneys. Spread out your feet and move the arms back in a circular motion. Then open your fingers and with the tips touch the ground. 
raise your face looking forward. Then raise your heels and pull in the hips. The bear form represents the bear stretching after walking from hibernation. Through deep breathing, it strengthens the lungs and the heart. Move the right hand back, touching behind the waist. Then bring the left hand to the chest. Slightly raise the heels. The crane form represents the crane flying into the sky. It develops the nervous system, especially the cerebral nerves. Open the arms as if the crane is about to fly. Bend both wrists and slightly raise the heel. Be sure to bend both wrists like the crane's beak. Sustain the body weight with the little toe. Inhale, exhale, raise, stop breathing, raise the heels fully and pull in the hips. Look at the sky and raise the spine upward in a circular form. Inhale, stop breathing. The bear form bends the wrist perpendicularly and spreads the fingers. The other hand does the same and spreads the fingers. The feet should be bent inward. Pull in the hips and stop breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Twist the wrist fully and put the fingers together like a bird's beak. Position your foot backward with the heel pointing forward and put the weight on the little toe. Exhale. What do you think of the motions you learned today? Uh, I found them very difficult to execute at first, namely the tiger, bear, and crane from Yongdong Yip Guan. But after repeating these movements a number of times, it really emptied my mind, allowing me to get in touch with my body and energy. I found them really helpful towards my attention of my body. The positions of Yongdong Yip Guan was a bit peculiar, wasn't it? But the idea of using the animal's motions and using them for training was very surprising. And remember, these trainings are also really good for your health, so don't forget to practice them. And I'll see you next time. Bye!